Hello there, my name is Dr. Carlo Ojed, and I'm a fellow emergency physician and baffer. My group is changing to an RVU productivity model. That's another way of taking the hit for the low volume, low productivity associated with it. And although the volume has come up, I wasn't sure I was going to make it. I've been an emergency physician for 18 years, and I know a little bit about documentation and RVU capture, enough to get by and be very productive in an emergency department. But mostly I get my productivity from seeing a lot of people. But I found myself wanting to learn more, wanting to learn what I can do to really optimize RVU capture while providing excellent care. Not really doing more or doing things just to improve my billing, but really documenting the work that I am already doing so that I can capture that RVU and get paid appropriately. So that way, even though we're going to an RVU model, I can make the same money or even more. So if you're like me, you want to learn more. Sure, I knew about EM code levels, levels one through five. I knew about critical care. I knew about a couple of things that you can do to improve that RVU, but I certainly didn't know everything I needed to know. So I did what everyone else would do. I went on the internet, I started searching, and I found a lot of good tips and tricks, but they were here and there and took me forever to find. And is it accurate? Is it something that can apply? Well, I put it all together and found myself like, hey, I really have a good thing here. So I hired a professional experienced ER coder to go over the information with me to make sure it was accurate and good. Once I had it all done, I sat down and wrote it all up in slides. And after I had it in slides, I created a website, a mini course to teach you everything you need to know. So sure, you could spend time and do the research yourself. Sure, you can find the tips and tricks here and there, but I've done all the lay work for you. And if you enroll on this course, you too will learn everything you need to know to improve your RVU capture, coding, and therefore billing. I'm going to talk about the five levels of EM coding, levels one through five, and what documentation needs to be present for each level. Critical care and how to document critical care so you can get the RVU capture you need. What diagnosis, what medications, what procedures highlight the fact that you use critical care. The fact that most people only document 1% critical care when nationwide we should be 8 to 9% critical care documentation. What procedures and what needs to be documented on procedures to bill completely for it. What words you need so that you can bill for complex IND repair, complex nasal packing or epistaxis treatment. What kind of counseling do you need to do to add an extra 0.35 RVUs? What do you need to do to document EKGs or rhythm strips to increase your RVU coding and billing? All of this is discussed in my mini course. It has the introduction, it has at least 18 actionable items or tips, and a uh, extra section on POCUS, point of care ultrasound, has an extra uh, attention to what if you use mid-levels, and especially if there's critical care involved with mid-level usage. And the course allows the users to post comments and questions, which I'll be surveilling and answering those questions to the best of my ability. Not only that, but you'll join a community of other ER providers who are interested in knowing. So when you post questions, other ER providers are able to see it and comment back and forth. So this is an extremely useful, valuable information for you. And again, you can spend the time to do it yourself, but it's already done for you. For the price of less than an hour of work, you're gonna make back that in one month, no problem. Because just in critical care documentation alone, your RVUs will go up. But with the tips and tricks to increase with counseling, with documentation of rhythm strips, with key words to uh, build for complex IND repairs, or lacerations that are intermediate or complex, uh, laceration lengths, um, all these tips and tricks that are sure to improve your RVU coding. So what are you waiting for? Just check out the page. There's no risk. If you don't enjoy it, if you don't find value, it's complete money back guarantee. So you're asking, how do I get to it? You can go to my website, carloojer.com. I'll put it right here, or you can go directly. The link will be somewhere in this page so you can get directly and uh, enroll in the course. It's a live living course in the sense that as I learn more, as I acquire more knowledge, as we interact with each other, I can update each unit 
and make it better and better as time goes on. So don't be down about moving to an RV. You see it as an opportunity to improve your care, to document well, and to bill to the maximum of your ability. My name is Dr. Carlo Oyer, and I hope you consider downloading um, the free critical care reference card. I have a free video explaining what the reference card means and how to improve your critical care capture. But then you have to go to the course to actually get the right language, things you can copy and paste and put on your chart to get that extra billing. So if you're interested in this program, and I hope you are, remember there's no risk, 100% money back guarantee. If you don't find usefulness, if you don't find that it's valuable to you, and I hope you'll consider it. Hey guys, Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you real soon.